All right, what I'm going to show you is how to unclog the HP Design Jet uh, print heads according to the HP tech support. Uh, I talked to them over the phone and this is what they told me to do uh, for the print heads. Now this printer that I'm showing you here is a Design Jet Z2100 photo printer and I'll point out that according to HP you need to keep your printer on at all times. Unlike Epson printers, uh, at least the Epson printers that I own, that recommend you turn your printer off when you're not using it. The HPs want you, this one anyway, the Design Jet, recommends that you keep it on as it has a ink cycling process to prevent the print heads from being destroyed, or at least clogging. So. Okay, so here I'm going to push the menu button and we're going to go to the ink setting. And now you want to do a test um, to see which print heads are clogging. In my case, I know which ones are clogging. But you would do an image quality maintenance test. Um, print diagnostic image. That will tell you which print heads are clogged. Once you identify that, we are going to click replace print heads. Okay, once it's ready, it lets you open the window. Over here, we are going to remove the magenta and yellow print head. And this clogged because I I always turned my printer off until the uh, HP tech support on the phone told me not to. Now here I have just a plate with a couple paper towels that are uh, soaked with water. And the recommendation for cleaning the print head was to place the print head on a soaking wet paper towel for about five minutes. So obviously you can see the ink is starting to bleed already. So we'll leave it there. Come back in five minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's actually been more like 10 to 20 minutes. I just kind of forgot about it, but um, you can see that it's kind of this orangey, just looks bloody really, that's kind of gross. And you can see dried up crusty bits of ink on here. So let's go ahead and put it back in and hopefully that solves the problem. All right, we're gonna just reinsert it here. Let it do its thing. All right, now it says it is checking the print heads. I need to put some media in here so I can do a diagnostic image and we'll see what happens. So this was the original printing here. As you can see, yellow is basically non-existent. And here we have, this is the uh, diagnostic or the uh, print head alignment image that it prints automatically once you put in a new print head. And you can see yellow is back. But I do, I do have, uh, it looks like magenta is a problem now. So I'm going to run it through an actual purging cleaning cycle. Maybe uh, water went up into the uh, print head. And that's basically what it looks like. Maybe it spat out there and I might be missing another color. So we're going to go ahead and, um, yeah, see, it, it canceled due to problems. So we'll click OK to continue. We'll go to the menu. And we will go to image quality maintenance and we will clean the, clean the print heads. Let's go ahead and clean them all this time. Okay, now we are going to go through and print a diagnostic image and that will let us compare the difference. Okay, so 
Here we have, uh, now this is on vinyl and that's just uh, paper. But you can clearly see we cleaned the yellow. That looks like it came back 100%. So it was actually quite easy. I'm very happy with that. Now, <laughs> my matte black and cyan, that's a whole nother issue. That's uh, non existent. Now, this I printed a couple weeks ago, and I finally got around to actually cleaning that print head. And that's how you clean an HP DesignJet print head according to uh, HP themselves. Now, if your print head is still clogged, I did put an affiliate link in the description below for uh, replacement print heads. And I will say I'm going to have other videos on maintenance of the DesignJet which applies to pretty much all design jet models. Mine is the Z2100 44 inch. And I did have bad experiences with using third party inks. In fact, I will only ever use uh, genuine HP inks and not refurb print heads either. So I will have some more videos. Check those out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Let me know your experience in the comments below and please uh, rate this video. I appreciate it and it really helps. Thanks for watching.